Hey, it's Chuck here back with the Friday episode of Milton Daily Homes. And for some reason, the magic number is two this week. So we've got another two properties. <laughs> I, I miss those days of 20 properties, actually. They're kind of fun to blitz. But um, again, it's, it's sometimes about quality, not quantity. So two properties. First one up is 1150 Bonin Crescent. It's at uh, 339.9. And basically, it's an end unit townhouse, and it's on a 28.71 by 121 foot lot. I'll show you why the lot's so big in just a second. So, but inside, basically, you got the front door here, you got a bit of an entrance, you go through, you got a dining room, and then you've got it sort of L shapes into the uh, family, and then you've got the kitchen and, and an eat in area in the back here, too. So, it sort of zigzags around. Um, Kind of plain inside. I mean, you've got just basically whitewashed walls. You got carpet. Now, what you can see here is is one of the main value, I, I guess, detractors of this home is if you've ever seen the homes that have the sort of sloping berm in the back, it looks like a toboggan hill in the back. What it is is that's actually the train tracks are directly behind this home. So you can always tell this too because when you look on the listing, it says fronting on the north side. What that means is that this, the curve on the street, it's on the north side of the street. So we know when we go to Google Maps and we type in the address on Bonin Crescent, anything on the north side of Bonin, and again, agents do screw up, so don't take this 100%, but I can check it for sure. And uh, you got the train tracks looking right here. So there's a sloping land that they've cleverly taken the angle. You couldn't tell unless you knew. You can see the fence even on this side is sloping up. Um, and that's what it's about. So we've got really like a lot of size here, 1,800 square feet townhouse. Uh, it's just a question of are you comfortable having a train essentially right behind your backyard? And that berm does help with noise. And I've heard a lot of people that once they live close to train tracks, they start to not even notice it. I think if you're this close, there's probably going to be some sort of an effect, uh, especially considering most homes, the master is in the back of the house. So anyhow, I think it's a good value pick. I think there's probably, th this is one of the best picks in terms of the amount of size that you get for 339. Now, the second one is at 1038 McQuaig, and it's at 549.9. And McQuaig is actually in the same area, a little bit further south. Okay, so you've got Thompson Road just over to west of here, and uh, McQuaig comes off Thompson. So this home, I believe, is actually this one right here, and it backs onto a really big, nice park here. Um, you know, it's it's one of those parks that unless you live in the subdivision, you don't really see it. It's a nice one. And it, double car garage, got some stone on the side there. Four bedroom, four washroom, you get a finished basement, hardwood floors throughout. There's the living dining right there. And then you get further in the house. Um, and you've got the family room. The stairs here can be a little bit awkward, especially if you've got a couch. It doesn't quite look balanced, but uh, I still think it looks good. The kitchen's great. Um, the master, so there's hardwood in a lot of places in this home. Big, big shower here. You got the tub, you got double sinks, you got a little makeup table right there. So it's all put together well. The basement, they probably could have decluttered a little bit more, but overall the impression is very, very strong. So let me just turn my phone off there. And uh, and you've got a yard here. They've planted some cedars here, but you can still see that that's the, the black municipal fence that, that would go behind so that you could actually overlook the park if you wanted to. So this uh, this one's got a good sized piece of land, a little bit bigger, bigger than the Mattamy ones, about 45 by 85. And uh, I like it. I think it's a great pick. At 549, I think the price is right on it. We don't know the exact square footage, but it says 2,500 to 3,000. And when you look at the room sizes, it's definitely well past 2,500 if I had to guess. So anyhow, that's our list. Bit of a short one. And I hope you have enjoyed this week. It's been a little bit different, but it's been a lot of fun. So stay tuned. We're going to have some really good information coming up, extra things that we're going to talk about next week. And I've got a special treat. 
Uh, Zishan Hamid and I sat down. He's uh, the Ward 8 counselor. And in October, we went through the whole town of Milton. It's about a half hour video. Um, it may not be always the most exciting, but it's packed with information. If you are if you live in Milton or if you're moving here, we basically break down every area and we talk about all the different stuff that's planned, you know, five, ten years from now, what Milton's really going to look like. And we talk about both of our visions for the town. It's a great video and I'll share that with you too. So have fun and I'll see you on Monday. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye.